Hey guys, it's Hunt for Games, and I'm really starting to wish that I thought of a name for the Centaurus Monster series, like, before now. Notorious Monster Knapsack videos, Final Fantasy Notoriety Throwdown, Hunting for Notorious Monsters, Notorious B.I.G. Monsters. There's a reason I am not in, like, marketing. Anywho, last week you got through some of my all-time favorites with the Castle Astrosia Brothers and their delicious ninja gear. But we're about to get into some, like, all-time best-in-slot stuff, if I can ever actually get this damn Thousand Eyes to pop. But before we get to that, let's touch on the slightly less exciting member of the Final Fantasy Notorious Monster community, Mimus. Mimus is just like a crappy little giant in Upper Delphux Tower. Honestly, I'm not sure why it stuck out to me so much in my memory, except I totally remember. I used to kill this guy constantly. He respawns like every 15 minutes to protect, I guess, the way cooler items in the area? He's not even really a Notorious Monster, except that he checks, you know, impossible to gauge. Porphyria is down the hall who drops the Delkfuck key, which is super important for helping like with all the quests and missions that take place in this damn zone. But the other dude is much more popular, and Kalados, but we'll get to him in a couple videos and his amazing, amazing gloves. I guess they're more of like bracers, but whatever. Anyways, back to Mimus, who embodies the, well, he's technically a notorious monster and it really would like bother me to just pass by without killing him mentality. You'd see him and you'd be like, <sighs> okay. I would camp in Kalados, and if he didn't pop, I'd run over, I'd kill Mimus, I'd be like, all right, great. But after like a couple hours of being there, you're like, I just don't even know if I want to kill Mimus again. But then he's standing there, you check him, impossible to gauge, and you're like, I can't let this stand. He drops the huge moth axe. Man, this thing is massive. It's okay, it's sold for like, not much. I just had to bring him up, I've killed him like, Countless times. I've, I really look at notorious monsters like that. If I see one, even if I know it drops a piece of gear I don't want. A rare exclusive piece of gear I do not want in my inventory. Literally, inventory minus one. He has to die. Moving on, we have Mr. Orc Trap, who dropped the Hojutsu belt and the Nikari... 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 That one's not happening. Anyone want to help me with that pronunciation? Nikari... Nikari... Mmm... The belt is whatever. I mean, neat, I guess, if you're like a dirty Elvon just starving for MP, but I'm fairly sure that the katana was one of the better katanas for that level range for any tanking ninja, which is to say, all ninja. Minus 25% spell interruption rate at a time when those poor, struggling ninja only had Usuzemi Ichi? It's glorious. An interrupt the spell could ruin your day if the mob's next move was like, I don't know, sickle slash. As a little tartar with no HP, I worship this thing all the way up to like level 40. And I'm pretty sure it's sold for a decent amount. I mean, there aren't like a ton of katanas for each level range, and this one was uniquely useful. Dude was always camped. Bringing us to one of my favorites, an orc that plenty of you have complained hasn't showed up in any of these lists up until now. Poison Hand Nadgad. Good old Poison Hand dropped the Jujitsu Gi, or if you weren't that lucky, the Jujitsu Sitabaki. The pants were whatever, but the Jujitsu Gi, apart from, in my opinion, being one of the cooler looking pieces, in the game. Would last you like all the way up to the scorpion harness or the harbergen, depending on what job you were. For accuracy is just sweet. It's always good. And there really wasn't anything better. Other jobs were stuck with wearing like the brigandine. The brigandine was like the best thing. Two decks, you're like, Dex! That converts to accuracy! But man, did this thing look cool. I was so jealous when they released essentially the model, the same exact model as a body piece for one of the best summoner bodies in the game at 75. I forget the name of whatever that thing was. I never did get it. But it was a Jujutsu Gi. It, that's what it was. It was that, but it like added refresh and like subtracted blood back timer. Awesome. But back to Senor Nadgat. <laughs> I can't say that. Senor Nadgat. Nadgat. Used to chill in that cesspool Du Boy. God, Du Boy just sucks. He had a pretty standardly annoying spawn time of one to four hours off of, and I quote, various orcs in the area. Sounds like a good excuse as any to uh, kill all of these assholes. Ugh, which brings us to this idiot, Argus. Who just wouldn't pop. I tried like four days in a row and I kept getting the leech kick. Which is why we have this crudely animated moving cutout of Argus. Sorry guys. When we came back to Final Fantasy XI, a buddy of mine entered the Major Shikrami the wrong way and, and nabbed this dude and got the drop. I was in like another corner of the zone. But he let it false me, he already had one, and it just felt dirty. I was like, this was at one point one of the best pieces of gear in the game. And I didn't even see the notorious monster that I'm obtaining it from. 
The Peacock Charm, now the Peacock Amulet, for a long time was the best neck accuracy slot in the game. I used to dream of this thing, it was just so good. 10 accuracy, 10 ranged accuracy, and the only downside being that you're slightly weaker to like drains. Oh no! Of course, that deliciousness did come at a cost. Either millions upon millions of gil. I mean, this thing was top tier auction house, like ridiculousness. Or the absolutely worst camping experience that you can possibly imagine. I don't know why, in in my mind, over the years, maybe because I just never saw him and I never really looked him up, I always thought Argus was a scorpion. With a 12 hour pop window, starting a measly 18 hours after the last kill, you could practically camp this guy all day and never see him. Which doesn't even make sense, because like mythologically Argus has like a million eyes. It makes total sense that he's like a thousand eyes. I just thought he was a scorpion. On top of that, he shares the pop with the Leech King, who I went over last week, you just suck, because he's not that interesting. But sometimes you would just go days without popping. It would just be Leech King, Leech King, Leech King. Screw Argus. In my mind, when somebody would be like, I'm camping Peacock Charm, I just killed Argus, I'd be like, you just killed a scorpion. I could picture it in my head. Scorpion. On top of that, the amulet wasn't 100%. It was pretty high as far as drop rates go, like 25%, one out of four. But considering how miserable this thing was to camp, that's awful. Screw you, Argus. Screw you. Anyways, guys, <laughs> that's it for this week's Notorious Monsters and the 30 to 40 range in general. Let me know which NMs I missed from this range. I mean, there were a ton and I just went over my favorites, but uh, there were a ton I didn't get to. Let me know your favorite stories from camping these guys, good or bad, and like the video if you've ever killed Mimus and for literally like no reason. Subscribe if you're new. I've got plenty of videos coming each week and I really hope to see you guys back. So thanks for watching. Nikari Nicario, Nicario, the the Nick, mm, Nicario, Nicar, mm. damn it.